Good morning. The head of Tourism Kelowna says that all signs point towards a busy season for tourism this year in the central Okanagan. President and CEO Lizanne Ballantyne says that the industry is very optimistic about this summer. She says Kelowna, as a destination, has rebounded from the COVID-19 pandemic. In fact, Ballantyne also says that the metrics show that we weren't hit as bad as other areas were. Recent figures from the Thompson Okanagan Tourism Association showed that hotel bookings over the first two months of 2023 are outpacing the same time last year. Building permit applications were down for the first quarter of 2023 in Kelowna compared to the same time last year. The city of Kelowna says they issued 451 building permits in the first three months of this year with a total value of $232 million. That's down from 2022 where 563 permits were issued for the same time period last year with a total value of $315 million. However, the director of the Development Services Department says that it's been a slow start to the beginning of the year, but we're expecting things to pick up. About 65 employees at Tokel's Armstrong Mill will be off the job for the foreseeable future, and that's in part due to a soft North American lumber market. Communications advisor Chris Downey told Castanet News that the Armstrong division will be undergoing a temporary shift reduction in its lumber operations. Both the planer and the sawmill will be moving from two shifts down to a single shift. That starts April 17th. The British Columbia Liberal Party will officially become known as BC United on Wednesday. A move the party says gives voters 18 months to become familiar with the new name before the 2024 fixed election date. Party Vice President Caroline Elliott said yesterday that the Liberals are going ahead with the name change with confidence that Premier David Eby will not call an early election this year. Liberal leader Kevin Falcon, who was elected to the position in February of 2021, will introduce the party's new name, logo, and brand at a ceremony in Surrey tomorrow. Our forecast rain ending this morning, just a mostly cloudy day for us. We'll see a high of 9 on the lake.